That's an excuse. No, that's a fear. She is traumatized by what happened when she quit Spice. And I'm trying to figure out, since you said you were there and saw it, that part of her life, why she was traumatized for two weeks. Who did it and why? That I can't tell you. Because I that's... That was complete stupidity. I'm sorry. Well, you kicked her out. What was she supposed to do? What was she supposed to do? She's supposed to spend that on the right way, not below it. I even warned her. I said, don't blow this fucking money. It's blown. It's your chance to get a place of your own. Don't fucking blow it. Well, why? I don't know. I was, that was what I was doing the morning that you insisted I switch to getting her into rehab. I was trying to find her a place. So which is it? Because that got fucked either up. Either or. Either or will work. Either or will work. Except that you put an arbitrary deadline on it and made it oh, so she doesn't live don't, here. Don't, don't try to put the blame on me. I don't accept the blame. I'm sorry. Oh, you should. No. No, I should not. Because I was trying to get shit done and you changed. I, I thought you were a man of your word right up until that. I, when you changed it, you yeah. gave me a 48-hour deadline and then changed the goalpost. That was that fucked it up because then she saw this whole thing as being escalated. She got stressed out and she had her little fucking tantrum. That's on her, not me. That's on her. You were, I had nothing. Uh, is, in, in your copious experience with drug addicts that are homeless, do you, uh, the ultimatums with changing goalposts usually help? Seth. Do they help? I've had to do that. I've had to change goalposts. I've had to change strategy in the middle of the stream. Yeah, well that made it worse. Right. Clearly made it worse. Because you fucked me over. It shouldn't have. Well, it did. I don't know how you could think it wouldn't. You said show progress. I had called six different numbers Seven hours on the phone, that should have counted, but that wasn't good enough for you. You had to say, she's got to be in a rehab tomorrow morning, which she panicked and ran out the door screaming and yelling. That's her panicking. Now, let me tell you something. Because I had progress. Let me tell you something. Huh. Now, I sat quietly and listened to you. Okay. First of all, when I saw that she had no change of attitude when it came to stopping drugs, period. She did, though. No. Not she all the time. Not, not once since she was here. Not so I'm talking about during the 48 hours. Where you said to show progress, I she showed progress, and you said it wasn't. You're oh, sorry, I thought you were I didn't done. get a chance to Go ahead. Finish, Go ahead. So let me finish. Go ahead. I'm not going to interrupt you. I understand. Go ahead. I have to clean the pans and start food. She actually was showing me signs that she has done she does not want to stop. She has no inkling to stop. She has no gumption to stop. She doesn't want to stop. She That's is when addicted. I said, here is the ultimatum. Get her in a rehab or get her the hell out. That panicked her because she saw it as, and you're right, as an ultimatum. She didn't have any choice in the matter. Which is what it should be anyway, because Vicky does not make informed choices. She's incapable of it. If she were, she would be making a choice to go into rehab, get a place to stay, a shower, and a warm place. She to did stay. make that commitment, John. No, she never went through with it. She couldn't go through with it because you put a deadline on it to, at 8 a.m. Why, why couldn't she have gone into Tarzana? Give me the reason. Because I had to call her fucking M M M Melina the next morning and spend three hours making that happen. We hadn't, we couldn't do it through the, I had three insurances I had to deal with and Tarzana f being fucking changing, every, every person I talked to with Tarzana had a different story. Which is why progress, the original thing you said, would have been fine. She would be in a treatment center right now because we would have had a couple days to work her through the, the, the logistics of it instead of tomorrow morning or else, tomorrow morning or else, which she panicked, screamed and yelled and ran out the door and then you said she can never come back. Yeah. So she had to spend $475 for a week. So she blew the money? Mm. 
Well, that's... Look, it's not my fault that she's homeless. No, I didn't say it was. It was your fault that you changed what the goalposts were when you gave the ultimatum. Pretty clear. Any? Towards rehab? Any? Did she do any? She's not living here with me makes it a little more difficult. Because now she she's with the... She have to live with Oh, for their loves. To get a job. Jesus Christ, John. She has to run to get it done. Yeah, no shit. You can't force her. Not I can't force her. Clearly. Medina can't force her. Nobody can force her. Vicky has to make that choice on her own. Which she has done. Then tell me what progress she's made since she left. What I would. I'm more curious how she got on the the can in the first place. What? Tell me what. Tell me what you remember of that. Because you said you you saw her switch from spice again. How did yeah. she get so addicted to the can? Because she lost. All was she? Was she? She wasn't screaming, and yelling think, on the no, spot. How can I? How can I put this to you, Seth? She loses her morality when she gets high on spice or the can. Either one, uh -huh. absolutely does. Okay. Now that I said that, let me put it to you this way again. Uh huh. When she switched from spice, because I kept pounding her. Quit. She went directly to the can. I don't, but who? I don't think. While she was here. She did no. She did it on her own. While she was here, was she staying here? I don't think she was living here. Then how were you con having contact with her? You were just well, I, meeting her outside, I, or? Yeah, I ran. I mean, she would come over and yeah. I probably come over, use her show, whatever. She's been homeless ever since I met her. Yeah, but I'm just trying to say. So first of all, years. the two weeks of. PCP, because she's still traumatized. She doesn't know why everything felt like an acid trip for two weeks. And then when it was over, she was hooked on the can. No, is that what she told you? Yeah. Well, I don't think that's the truth. I think. But that's her memory. If I remember, there was no acid trip. No, it wasn't no an acid can. trip. There was no can trip. No, it was PCP. She was cognizantly aware of what she was doing the entire time. The two weeks she was, that she was having a PCP experience? How do I explain this to you? PCP, unless you're doing it constantly. Mm, which sounds like what it was. You cannot have a two-week high. Well, I don't know if two weeks is real, but there was something... When she, she thinks quit, she, wait, she thinks quitting Spice caused her to have a trippy experience that she never said was an acid trip, but she described an acid or like you said, PCB can do the same thing. I've never smoked enough of it to have that happen. I just, not even going to go there. So her memory of quitting Spice was she knows she was on Spice, then she knows she was on the can. She doesn't know what happened in the middle, but it clearly was PCP because that's what she keeps switching back and forth with. So she's after a high period, whether it's PCP, sure. So why does she not remember having? Why does she? Why does she think she went through two weeks and blame it on quitting spice? Because she—that's her reason for not wanting to quit the can. She's afraid she's going to have another two-week trippy experience because it happened when she quit spice. That's an excuse. Scenario, right? Okay, look. Like, think about this. I went through this one thing once. The moon. It was like, uh, it was like, it was a trip, it was just a trip, I didn't understand why I went through that, and it, it made me wonder. Okay. I knew her when she quit Spice and went to the camp. So you were there when she switched from Spice to the camp. Do you know what happened when she first quit Spice? She thinks she had what sounds like a fucking two-week acid trip that she has, keeps talking about. What the hell was that? Sure. Sherm! Sure. Ah, oh, because she's still tripping out about it. It was a trip. It was just a trip. I didn't understand why I went through that. And it made me wonder. What? And if that's the case, then the planet is 
a circle, right? Okay. It is, yeah. A globe, yeah. That's what I a sphere. Because she, that's her reason for not wanting to quit the can. She's afraid she's going to have another two-week trippy experience because it happened when she quit Spice. That's an excuse. No, that's a fear. She is traumatized by what happened when she quit Spice. And I'm trying to figure out, since you said you were there and saw it, that part of her life, why she was traumatized for two weeks. Who did it and why? That I can't tell you. Because I that's... I don't know of any sherm that was taken. In between spice and the can. But you, but she, to me, my memory, if my memory serves me, she went from spice one day, and all of a sudden her attitude changed. She quit the spice and she grabbed the can. Now, yeah, they switched gave, her to a different who personality. Gave her the can? I don't know. They switched her to a different personality for that. But I the no the point is, in between those two things, she thinks she spent two weeks where walls were melting, people's faces were getting all weird, and she doesn't know why. She doesn't know how. You don't have that on Sherm. I've done Sherm. Well, that she, then maybe it was acid. Like I, you said it, was, it sounded like Sherm when I described it to you the other day. But well, either way, either way yeah. she, something happened to her, and that six years later, she's so traumatized, she's afraid to quit a drug because last time she did, she went through two weeks of hell. I might, uh, it's coming back slowly. I think she was around Julian. Julian? Yeah. I think she was hanging around Julian about the same time. He switched her to the can? I she... don't know who switched her to the can. I can't say it was him. I know it wasn't me, because I didn't buy a can for her. When was it, how long, did, how long have you been buying cans for her? When did you start? Well, after I realized that she was hooked on the can, then she'd come to me and ask to borrow money or get her a can, yeah. and I... But, you, but you're saying back in 2016 when you first knew her, it was Julian buying her the cans? I think so. If, if Would he have had access to the Sherm? Or at, maybe... No. Come on. Hmm. My contact for Sherm hmm. was her. Who? Dickie. Huh. She knew the people. I didn't. Well, I had no clue. I had never done Sherm until I was around her. Vicky got you on the Sherm for the first time? Really? Really? As a matter of fact, I can take you right to the people that were selling her Sherm. Right, right by Patrick's house? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I know. I, I didn't know if they were the... Right there at the corner. Yeah. No, I know exactly what you mean. That's I thought you had I a different... I went to Vicky to get Sherm. Because she knew him. I didn't. Black guys. So why, yeah, no, I know, I know who you mean. So? So I don't know. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why she, because she's using that, and it's, she's not just using an excuse. She's terrified that if she goes sober, it's going to be two weeks of craziness again. She's said it many times. She keeps bringing up the trauma of what happened when she switched from Spice to the can. And she thinks it was because she quit Spice. Can we both agree? I don't know if you, how much you smoked of Spice. I was an addict with her for a year and a half. I quit it. It was hard because I wanted it, but I didn't have any trips. Nothing happened. I just wanted Spice, stayed off it for a couple days, and I've then never, got weed. I've never smoked Spice. Oh, that's terrible. It's like 10,000 hits of weed in, you know in, at once. Out. It's 10,000 you know, hits of weed at once. Where she got her Spice, right down there at... Wonderland? Lancaster. There's one Wonderland by the yeah, police Wonderland? station. Yeah. yeah. No, Kelly. Um, that woman that owns that store. Yeah. Talked to me one day because Vicky would get me to go in and buy her spice for. Her. Why was she not allowed? Was she banned? She didn't have any money. All right. Okay. All right. So. So when I went in to talk to the lady, hmm. or actually buy the spice, and then I talked to her for a minute, I found out that spice is nothing more than the drug that they add to. Yeah. What the guy does is he goes down to downtown LA, buys old flowers, yeah. sprays spray, them spray shit on. Sprays shit The spice on. is the spray, yeah. That's the spray. Yeah, no, yeah. That's, that's part of why it's so terrible is because the, the flowers themselves are gross. Let me get yeah. The um, flowers are, it tastes, it's just, if they put it on weed, it would, might be all right. But there's, it's such, 
it's terrible because it's there's no regulation of it. So each bag can be different. One bag can barely get you high. The next bag can right. trip you the fuck out. Yeah. I had a DMT style experience on a bag of spice. Like I left this world for a while, saw other creatures that I interacted with, and wow. came back. Wow. So I'm pretty sure that was DMT. Like that bag of That's spice weird. sounds like DMT. But anyway, the point is that that spice is is. It was gross, but she only did it because everyone at Tarzana, she went in for weed. Everyone at Tarzana was like, hey, if you smoke this, and you can buy it everywhere, 10 bucks a bag. And some of them get you so high, you don't even know who you are. But you don't lose who you are, like with the can. It's a, it's a really good high. It's like the greatest pot ever. And then five minutes later, you need it again. And oh, and there's a, a, a at the top of it, there's a, a, a panic attack. Hmm. So you have the greatest high, you have a horrible panic attack, then you come down and then you want more. That's spice. That was my year and a half on spice. It's terrible. And if I had been here, we could I could have transitioned her back into weed, but instead she went to the can for six fucking years. Mm. I heard her make a comment. She was getting all mad. Mm. Uh, you guys get to do yours, yes. but I can't do mine. Yeah. Because I don't want to deal with not having my stuff. I mean, y'all get to do your dope. Y'all get to smoke your weed. You y'all get to do what y'all do. Why, Why the you? fuck am I not okay to not be fucked with? For what? Can people stop fucking with me? Because I ain't the problem. I know that. I really do. I'm sick and tired of fucked up people fucking evaluating me like bitches cuz ain't nobody know what the fuck I'm like. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for fucking with me people. Where are you going? I want to be left the fuck alone. Stay away from me, got it? Yeah. And it's legal. She keeps saying it's legal, so how bad can it be? Well, the thing is I don't see you tripping out. I don't see you. I mean, I, I haven't really seen you high, high. You, you barely smoke meth. Yeah. Just enough. I'm a lightweight when it comes to meth. Cause, mm. Man, it lasts me forever. Yeah. I, I usually get rid oh, of it. No, same. The, the, the little I bought from Mark though, that other day, I still got most of it. <laughs> I mean. Well, it, it surprised Michelle because she thought I was a heavy user. And I said, no, man, I'm fucking lightweight. Cost effective. If I buy a quarter of an ounce, it'll last me a month. Wow. Now, having said that, <coughs> I don't see Michelle flipping out. I don't see myself flipping out or Angel flipping out. Dickie just does not have the ability. No, she's a wild animal. She's, to control. No, she's feral. She's a feral child. She's always... It, it, bef, if she hadn't have been homeless all these years, like, m her mom kept putting her in, in, in group homes because mom couldn't handle her. I mean, part of it was on Audrey. She should have tried harder, but part of it is, how do you... Now, look at, now I'm looking at how do you try harder if it's this. It's fucking... Because the multiple personalities, there's no consistency and none of them believe they are bound to the things the other ones have agreed to. So she's always a different person and nothing can get done until that is dealt with. But if they make me her payee, she's going to hate everything. She's going to hate me. But they're, th they're, gonna, they're talking about shutting it down otherwise. There were, one of that paperwork that came listed me as a potential payee. And then on the phone today, he's like, so we want to make you. I'm like, no, 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 you don't know. Please don't. <laughs> and, but, now, but then there's a message from his supervisor. Well, he hung up on me because I told him I was taping it. And uh, his supervisor called and said, we need to talk about some things. Great. Great. Just what I need. But now that she just went through three grand, she can't argue. Like, how, what can she account for that money? But then again, how? How do you spend three thousand in that quick a time? I don't know. I think he's stealing from her. He has to be. He has to be. She just mentioned the tire. She did not just spend a hundred dollars on him. Because where'd the money go? Well, the tire's the only one I know. Yeah, that's all she said. 
Fuck. No, but I said something just because I thought you should know. Yeah, no, she told me to. But what's weird is that that's what I'm saying. I don't think she thinks she doesn't have a concept in the money. Like she forty, it was thirty four hundred, and then she got another eight hundred and seventy, and now it's down to almost a grand, just over a grand. She fucked up. But how is it different if it's me? Like I, this is gonna get me in trouble because she's gonna demand the money, under physical violence. If I don't give it to her, and if I do give it to her, I have to explain to them where it all went. Hold on, I've been. Hey Siri, what's 14 times 30? 14 times $420 a month if she does just two cans a day, which is a slow day. $420 a month. That's half of her money. Just to the cans. Jesus, fuck. Jesus fucking Christ. That is the exact reason why I quit drinking. For <laughs> she just has absolutely no control when it comes to getting high. She doesn't know what's right and what's wrong. That's why we have, uh, and I offered to go into rehab with her. Like now, that's that's actually what, because I'm leaving here Thursday. I'll have, hopefully Michelle can give me a ride there with all my stuff. And then I have to live in the hotel room that my ID paid for, but her and, and Frankie are sleeping in the bed. So I'll be sleeping on the floor by there and, you know, leaving to give them some space, but also having to deal with, <clears throat> with this. You should have seen the social security phone calls where I'd hold the phone up to her and they're like, ma'am, what's your name? Ma'am, I can't hear you. Monica, how may I you on today? Hi, Monica. I'm here with my goddaughter who gets uh, full social security benefits. She's going to give you permission to talk to me and then we'll uh, figure out what the problem is. Okay? Hi. My name is Victoria Swindell. Wait, what? Ma'am, you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. I'm just trying to see what's going on. Okay, she's <laughs> giving you permission to talk to me so I can explain it. Can you call up? Okay, she has to, ver she has to verify her account first. That's she right. She doesn't want to be able to hop on. I know. That, that's what we're doing, ma'am. We've been doing this for many years. I'm can sorry. you just ask the questions you need to ask? <laughs> I'm, okay, give me I'm one second, sir. You gotta get rid of thing like that. You're gonna get through this stuff, don't do that. Okay. I went on, and there, so it makes it sound like I'm doing something, like, because obviously she's fucked up, so why am I calling? And they're being rude to me, they're all fucking rude to me. You know, I'm just trying to figure out why we're paying, we're payment stopped. I got I got to start this food I'm starving. I don't have the answer for you. I wish I did. Yeah. Me too. I I mean it's going to work out this weekend. I mean cuz either way I'm leaving Monday for Riverside. So if she's in it if what's in Riverside? My family. Your family? Yeah, we're going to have a talk. I might end up hanging myself from the tree outside their fucking house. How old are you? 50. My dad stole my life savings twice. My aunt lied on my grandmother's deathbed. I was saying goodbye to my grandmother. The aunt who molested me pe peeked her head in the door, then went and told them I was asking her for money, so they all kicked me out so I wasn't there when she died. And then they uh, hid her death. They didn't say anything on social media until after the funeral, so I wouldn't go because my aunt who molested me told them I was asking for money, which I wasn't. Yeah. So the whole family believes the crazy fucking aunt. And we're going to go talk about that. Or are they going to call the cops? I'm going to get good video of them calling the cops while I yell at their fucking house. <laughs> it's going to be one of those things. I'm good either way. After food. Way I can't. I mean, I have. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have almost no money left. I have to leave while I can afford a train. Cause it's 
If they want me to leave them alone, they're going to have to pay me the 10 grand. My grandfather cut me out of the will because I brought her brother to Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. He had a no spots at Thanksgiving rule. I told you that. So, I mean, we're going to have it out or I'm going to get at least get good video. I might spend three days in a psych hold if I, uh, I may like, because they have a lot of barking dogs, or I may loudly, slowly hang myself from the tree so they come to the window, get a three-day vacation, come back, and then they'll know I'm willing to go that far. Thank you. I like not to apologize about that. Could you go ahead and provide me with your full social security level, man? Mm-hmm. She heard me yelling at the guy because he kept he he told me three different wrong things and then I asked for a supervisor and he said no. So I raised my voice and I told him I was taping it and I'm like because he denied something he just said I'm like I gotta check the online account think somebody may have went in online pretending to be Victoria. None of that happened. Okay. So somebody is calling Direct Express and cancel this account. Cancel the account? That's what it that's what it looks like. Yeah, they they needed they said I don't no longer want direct deposit. What? So we So here's your here's your fix. Okay. You wanna find out who the heck's doing that and you wanna take them to the woodshed, right? As a good old techless man. Take them to the woodshed for certain and figure out well, who the hell's messing with, with her. But anyway, her em- Email him a copy of your ID in order to be further assisted. Hmm. We're waiting for her ID, ID in the mail, but we're trying to figure out why her direct deposit was stopped. You're, you're saying there's okay, no way to do... I wouldn't be able to release any information. I wouldn't be able to release any information of the account due to the fact that she has an alert on her account. I, I, no, I understand. So we... so Her SSI, which is her Title 16 benefit, still is intact. The direct deposit is intact. And you caught everything in time. Okay. So we- I went... To, I did a couple other things. I went and I checked her mother's record. And then I went back and cross-referenced them. And I find banking information, but it's old. And I know she's been receiving benefits for quite some time. Yeah. So at this point, I would contact Direct Express, which is not good because you're going to be on the phone Lord knows how long. Um, and just add on Social Security benefit. Which is the Title II. Which is the Title II. That's correct. So she receives Title II benefits and Title Sixteen benefits. And Title Sixteen is intact and still going on her card every month. That's right. Okay. So it's so I have and to her Title II benefits does a direct deposit. I don't see it there. Okay. And you can't add, just add the, the new information for direct deposit from your end? No, I'm not able to. If you gave me a bank account, a routing number, and an account number, I could. But because it's direct express, they have taken the keys to the car away from uh, us. I see what you mean. Okay, so they're my next call, and we just add, ask them to add the Title II benefits onto the same card that they're already doing the Title Sixteen benefits. I would, yes, exactly. Okay. I would push to get it onto the same card. They might not do that. They may say, we have to order you a oh, new Jesus card. Christ. Of which you're going to say, look, she's been receiving benefits for years on direct express cards. Well, at that point, we may look for another bank if they're going to make, because she, she can't have her money on two different cards. That's going to be so confusing for her. There's just no way. But okay. Dude, I don't know why you just don't get a bank account, a routing number, and an account number. Because she's gotten oh, screwed. Because she's gotten screwed every time she's gotten. So, so if, 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 okay, so if Title II is not going there, shouldn't she have gotten a paper check by now? No, it went there on December 2nd. No, you said Title II went. I mean, you said Title 16 went there on the 2nd. You uh, said Title II didn't. Uh-uh. No. It's not what I said. For God's sake, what did you say? 
And you and I spoke about the net, net being current last time we spoke as well. Almost a similar situation to this. But nevertheless, the Title II, the Social Security check, the yes. 499, I'm yes. looking at it. Uh-huh. I am looking at it. Let me make sure I got the date right. 12-2-2022. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You keep you've you've now said two different things. You keep you keep confusing Title Two and Title Sixteen because you said Title Sixteen was the four ninety nine. Now you're saying the Title Two is the four ninety nine. Title Two. Hello. Yeah, Title Two. Title Two is the four ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you said the Title Two is the one that's not going onto her card. No. That's what you just said to me, Ralph. No, no, Seth. On September, on December second, mm-hmm. a check in the amount of four ninety nine went to a direct express account. Yes. Okay. That's her Title II benefit. Then why did you just tell me Title II is the one that we need to get turned back on? Because somebody deleted it after that. You said that was after after so someone deleted it just in the past couple of weeks. That's right. And Either before that, and they missed it, and they missed the cutoff. But the check safely made it there. Oh my God! And what what, what am I confusing you about? Just just. Because I just said we have to call an ad. I can handle it. Excuse me. I can handle it. Tell me point blank. This way we can we can get to the bottom of it. Seriously, I'm I'm seriously trying to help you. I know you are, Ralph. But I'm recording this call, and you have given me so many different stories at this point. I don't even know how you have a job there. I really don't. Because you have said so many different things that don't even make sense. You said we have to add the title to because it was shut down. You're in the state of California, uh-huh. so if you want to record my call, which is fine, you can. But you got to tell me that you're recording the call first. Okay. That's the rule. Is that okay? the rule? So yeah, for California. Great. In Texas, you don't have to do that. No. I'm very familiar with Texas. Mm, for the love of God. Okay. So you're telling me, Title 16 is still going on her card unaffected. Yes, that's correct. And the Title 2 is. Stopped right after this what this month's went on. Either right after it or before it. I can't tell you exactly when it was deleted. Well, we got a, missed the cutoff. That, listen, what I'm saying, Seth. Yeah. It missed the cutoff, so the money was safely placed onto a card for her. Okay. Okay. Well, you didn't. I didn't understand that. It sounded like it was because when I talked it's to okay. you, Ralph. When I talked to you before, before December first. You said that her direct dis- her her direct deposit had been shut off. Oh God, no! Okay. No, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, you did. No. Yeah, you did, Ralph. That's why I record everything. Okay, so we're gonna call Direct okay. Express, I guess. You continue recording. You do what you want, and in the future, when you call, if you get me, I'm just gonna transfer you to a supervisor. I would appreciate okay? that. Could you do that now? There you go. Thank no, you. No, I can't. We're done. Can we talk to a supervisor today, please? Good good luck now. Goodbye. Can I talk to a supervisor, please? And then he hung up. And then he said, oh, you can't take me. And she heard that. So now she's like, why are you yelling at the Social Security people? I was like, I had to. What do you mean, why? But she doesn't hear that. So now that's going to be her thing is that I I sabotaged it because I was yelling at the guy. Love of Christ. Just the rides that just had. I bought some Tupperware containers so I'll make a whole bunch and bring it, freeze it and bring it to her. She got a fridge but no microwave. You gotta walk all the way through the front desk for a microwave. Damn. Why, did one of your friends tell you the earth is flat? No. But do you know how much fucking technology is starting to get trippy? Yep. I'm worried, though, a little bit about everybody in the world and how they're getting because of the fact. Are we, we are in a radioactive type. Or you know how crazy technology is? 
every Walmart in the country carries cans of air that happen I'm to have... I'm worried that I'm a droid. You're not a droid. You're hitting that can and your brain's all fried. Because you bought it at Walmart and somehow... Stop videotaping me. Fine, supposed to get you in rehab. I don't care about you guys. So. You guys are fucked up. And tonight, I'm going to make sure I kill myself. Thanks for being a bitch. Or to no, stop. No, fuck you, you dumb bitch, for trying to put me in a rehab, you stupid bitch. Because you don't need it. I'm about to knock your ass out, you stupid bitch. You got it? You should be.